Greetings everyone and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Well, in the last episode we uh, did a little bit of work around town. We made a fair bit of money selling things, which I'm extremely happy with. Uh, I'm actually going to take these out since the only place I know that I can use them is in my woodwork shop. So, you know, maybe we'll, we'll deal with that. Uh, come on then, let's quickly clean these nails. Am I only going to get one nail back from each? Oh my lord. That's a bit of a saga I'm not ready. I'm not really sure I'm I'm ready for. Alright then. Let's drop this off down here. Uh there we go. Alright, we can take the funeral urn over to the cemetery. I mean I could make more ceramic jugs, I guess. That makes sense, I suppose. Uh let's see, what else do we want to work on right now? Nothing just yet, really. Okay, how much does it cost to make a furnace? Have I got enough to make one? I need a little bit more stone, some more complex iron parts, and some pigskin paper. That I can absolutely do. So let's get some more complex iron parts. In fact, all of the complex iron parts. We are going to make good on getting at least some of the, uh, of the new area built up. Let's get all of that. There we go. Yoink. Right, there we go. Drop these off. Ah, thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Just in time, my friend. Just in time. Now, I have not been particularly good at grabbing any uh, stone... Re uh, sorry, any mushrooms recently. I haven't been particularly good at grabbing stone, though, either. Uh, stocks are dwindling. Ugh, this is a bad corpse. Right, well, first and foremost, nabbing your skull. Don't complain. You are clearly some sort of horribly immoral bandit or brigand in, in your in your life. No one gets that much sin just by accident. No, no, no. Oh, we made a mistake there. Okay. Well, let's try and clean a little bit more. See what we can do. No, we've made it super bad. Your heart was about the only only good part. Oh, that actually weaves a rather tragic tale. You were you you were a you were a brigand with the heart in the right place, but you just couldn't couldn't fight against against your brain. You were very easily corrupted, probably by some elder sibling who who inducted you into the life of brigandry, and for whom you felt too much of a familial bond to abandon. Ah, oh, so sad, so sad. Uh, we need a lot more stuff. Let's drop all these off. Right, I'll be right back. We'll make you a nice little funeral pie. Need a bunch of billet. And probably could do with getting all of those plants replanted as well. Right, okay. Uh, billet, please. Sure. This many will do. There we go. Keep it up. Almost out of energy, though. Not liking that at all. There we go. That's good enough for us for now. I'm definitely going to have to sort that out, though. I should really grab these mushrooms when I pass them. In fact, I'm going to need to get a lot of, of food up the uh, up at the mining base as well, really, when I think about it. Because that's going to take an awful lot, too. There we go. Let's get two of these going. There we are. And done. Oh, there you go. In fact, we'll prepare this one as well, might as well while we're here. There we go. And drop off this blood, too. Right, the funeral urn will take over to the graveyard, since we're right nearby. I really do want to move that grave. Really want to move that grave. There we go. Now, before I do anything else, let's just have a quick look. Uh, citizen. Building permission. Um, no. And uh, rightful citizen. Pick three. Yeah, okay, I'll buy rightful citizen. I can get the trade license now. Wow, okay. Rightful citizen papers. What does this do? Exactly. Um. Okay, I guess I'll put those in my house. Uh, aristocrat. 12 gold? 12 gold. Really? Really. 50 for the trade license. Okay, well, that's going to be a saga and a half, but all right. But we have got the exhumation permission. I could move that body around. Uh, all right. I'll 
grab you. Let's go and get you sorted, shall we? Let's have a look. We might be able to sort you out, actually. So first and foremost, we need to remove the gravestones. There we are. And then the fence as well. Then we will exhume the corpse. Then hopefully fill in the grave. Zoom. Yep. Okay. There we are. Thank you. You're 100%. So let's hope you're not rotting. Because if you're rotting, then I'm immediately going to have to burn you. But if not, I might actually be able to rebury you. But even better than before. This is, this is grand. Only my graveyard offers this kind of service. Oh, look at this. We're going to make you even better than you were before. Oh, well. I... Be right back. Be right back. I just need to go and eat some bread that I was saving. But you're worth it. Uh, have I really not got any food on me? Man, that sucks. Super sucks. Actually, I need to grab some pigskin paper while I'm here as well. There we go. That'll do. Okay. I'll be right back. Ah, it's all go. All go. I also need to head into town. I need to buy grape seeds. Mm. Gonna be a bit of a pain. Okay, well, let me grab everything I'm gonna need for that. Also, drop off my rightful citizen papers. I don't need to take those with. Uh, is there anything else here I want to take with? Um... I'm going to leave those there. Is there anything else I can take? I mean, maybe I could sell the fish. I don't know. It's possible, I suppose. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to do it the normal way. How much money have I got? I've got, ten, I've got ten silver. I should be able to buy enough grape seeds with that to make a good bit of stuff. I could also buy the Silver Star wine from Haradric. Two silver for that, though. Whereas, I imagine I could make a lot more with the grape seed. Thinking about it. Alright, let's uh, gobble down some bread. Finish off this work. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. A beautiful body that should be laid to rest in a beautiful grave. It'll be... Honestly, it's going to be amazing. Trust me. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I'm a graveyard keeper, after all. You go there. I'll just be a second. Maybe I should bury in one of the other locations. Get rid of you. Oh, it's going to be back and forthing a lot, isn't it? Yep. Yep, it is. And that's not going to be great. Come on, let's get you out the way. Move. Move. Quickly. Be gone. There we go. Be right back. So sorry about this. So sorry. Very unprofessional. Trust me, though, you're going to like the end result. If you're not rotting by then. Please don't be rotting by then. Please. <laughs> not after all of this work. There we go. I'm, it's, I'm like on midday on a day where I really need to be in. Oh no! Oh no! Well, it's okay. It's okay. It, did, it didn't. It didn't rot. It just didn't give me a big old boost the way I was expecting. I was expecting that to get an extra one heart, but oh, that's fine. There we are. Look at that. You're now a, a level four grave. Truly wondrous. And we will we'll upgrade that grave at some later point. Now, we've got a fair old walk ahead of us. Um, it is midday. It's still probably better for me to use the uh, path uh, through the cellar to get there, I think. We'll see. Don't really need that bread with me. I may sell some of it to Herandric at this point, but uh, it's fine. It's fine, I tell you. All we got to do is get there before the, um, the merchant decides to leave. That's all we got to do. Just got to buy that fantabulous, wondrous stuff need well should we go for the silver grape seed i think we should i think we should let's go for the silver grape seed now it's only slightly more you see so up grab all of that it's expensive mind you let's grab another four uh, no we won't be able to afford it so let's grab four it's fine we'll sell all eight yep there we go and what's more is I'll go and sell this stuff to Haradric and I might be able to buy the last four as well. We've seen how, how much that makes. It is, it, we're just printing money by doing it. So it's absolutely worth doing. Can have both, please. There we are. I'm not gonna sell the bread. We won't get enough from it. I could buy you though. No, no, no. We will, we will make it the, the good old way of just building up our seed stocks and having loads of silver quality wine ourselves instead. Right. Bump. There we go. Thank you. That is wonder lovely. Now, have we got enough to buy any cheese? Hmm. 
I'm not so sure about that one. We'll see. I don't think we do, though. Well, we've got a little bit. Got enough to buy three. Sure, okay. Three more pastas. That'll do me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, on our way back, we'll gather some honey, too. I think that'll be a pretty uh, good idea. There we are. I should also start selling some more stuff to the uh, fishermen, really. Probably wise. We'll see how that goes. But for now, we've got enough material to take care of everything we need in terms of the vineyard, which I'm extremely pleased with. Extremely pleased. We've got two days for us to prepare. Uh, we're not going to have silver wine by then. It's just, it isn't going to happen, unfortunately. But, it, you know, it's, it's just the way that it's going to be. But we can take the shortcut up to the vineyard here. We can build up a bunch of these areas, these plots. Fertilize them as well, because we've got fertilizer up here. There we go. We'll start with you, I think. I uh, need some more of this bread. Uh, it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be worth it in the end. There we go. Oh, you know what I forgot to do again? In the last episode, I forgot to eat the bloody cake. Oh, I'm going to have to get into the habit of it. I'm, it's just... It's hard getting into the habit of that after spending so long playing the alpha without wasn't a thing. Because it's kind of ingrained now. But I will get it. Oh my lord, that frustrates me so much. Uh, and it's going to be like a whole episode before you get to the part where I where I acknowledge that I was a derp. And so I'm going to have loads of comments now saying, Ah, but you missed out. My brain is leaking fluid all over my keyboard now. Thank you very much. Thank you've ruined my keyboard. Nothing gets brain goo out of keyboard. Not even dry rice. It's true. It doesn't. I'm sorry. Uh, I deeply apologize. I just hope it wasn't one of those ridiculously expensive chroma, chroma keyboards in that case. With those sweet cherry switches. There we are. We don't need this many plots, but uh, I prefer to work up from down here. Um, I'll also gather these as well. There we go. Right. Now, let's pop all of the seeds in here. There we are. And let's start. So, we want to fertilize this. Fertilize this. There we go. And plant the silver seeds at the top. There we are. And then we've just got an extra five that we can get down here. We haven't got a full row yet. Certainly haven't got a full row. Oops, I've double fertilized that one. Certainly haven't got a uh, full row of either one. But we, we've almost got a full row of grapes at the very least. Which is good enough, I suppose. Let's get you down. It's raining as well, which is quite nice. There we are. I can only assume this is going to be good for our grapes. There you go. And to save time later, I'll also go ahead and fertilize this field since we're up here anyway i'm not gonna dig out the others having two prepared rows is more than enough right now especially if i alternate the ones that i'm fertilizing um, but what will probably happen is is next week we'll end up with enough that we can actually get going with this and we can actually get a, a decent amount of these um growing that would actually be pretty cool uh we'll head back down we grab a couple of odds and sods on the way but it is getting to the point now where i really do need to get up to that mining area just to get the stone not the ore the stone prim uh, primarily we will be keeping one furnace down here and an anvil in fact we'll probably keep just the anvil here uh if i'm perfectly honest there's not much reason to move my entire setup elsewhere but by keeping the anvil down uh sorry by having the furnace down here then i can smelt any um, scrap iron that I get. I'll probably still fire that with firewood though, whereas the other one I am more than likely going to be using coal for. There we are. It does depend a little bit on how many furnaces I can make, however, because uh, they do take a long time and it would be odd. Well, see, a couple of people did mention that oh, it's, it's so so frustrating to have to go back and check whether your your crop uh, sorry your your crop of iron your uh, smelting is finished etc etc and i i can totally get that but at the same time if you just do it once like you you spend a day or two up there mining and and preparing it all and then you just set all i don't know 
60 ingots to smelt and then walk away. Then just come back in a couple of days and it'll be ready. You know, it, it, patience, young grasshopper. Patience. Right, let's drop these off. There we go. Uh, the hemp will come with us. We'll grab all of these seeds and all of these beautiful beets. There we go. I'm probably not going to replant just yet. I don't think there's much reason for it. Uh, all right. Well, actually, I could use these. Just gobble those down nice and fast. There we go. There we are. That should give us enough to do a tiny amount of work. Scarcely any. I'm not even sure we're going to finish harvesting them all. Oh, we might. It'll actually be close. I think we've got enough here. Okay, there we go. We've got over a thousand nature skill. I've got, I've got, a f I'm fairly certain that it ended up being something like that last time as well. But we had just a ridiculous amount of nature skill and nothing else really. It's a bit dumb. All right, let's uh, drop off all of that. Is there anything else? No, we're good. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and we'll fertilize just because we can. And since I don't believe planting requires any uh, actual energy, might as well, I suppose. Let's just keep things going. Eventually we'll run out of seeds, and I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way to replenish them for a long while yet. We certainly don't need it for the carrots, though. Honestly, the next one I do get will probably be the carrots, just because of how useful they are. Yeah. We should probably also go down and grab the funeral certificate, uh, the, sorry, the burial certificate and the ash and salt from the cremation that we held recently. Might want to take down some billets so we can rebuild the funeral pyres as well. That would probably be reasonable in that it would save me a lot of time later on. Uh, oh no, we've got everything sorted. Okay, so start with carrots then. Let's get you down. There they are. And again, only two more, which is what we had last time. But though, interestingly, we are. Oh no, actually, only one more. My bad, I completely miscounted there. Uh, beet seeds then. I guess we can have one help. And that one hemp will go over here. I believe we're looking at the hemp one now. Yes, we were. Ha-ha! Got you. And one right there. There we go. So yeah, we are now definitely hemorrhaging all of our seeds. Could I actually plant that? No. I can't mix the seed types, which is just as well, because that would be a horrible, horrible waste. But it was interesting to see whether it were possible or not. Um, I guess the only thing left now is some wheat. So our garden is uh, shrinking rather sharply. But that is fine. Right, we need to tuck it in now. A good long snooze. There we are. Loads of bread there. Fantastic. Let's drop that off. Uh, drop off all of the other bits and bobs that we need. So starting with the things that I actually do want to make use of. Uh, hmm. That's kind of being a little bit of a potch for us, really. Also, I want to drop off the maggots out here. There we are. Now, we should be able to get some of the grapes being used. Yeah, we can only do one, though. That's fine. Can we get that done in one go? Oh, we can. Marvellous. Wasn't actually expecting that. Okay. Um... I guess we're going to drop all of this off of here. Actually, no. No, we're not. I really need to start using the cabbage. Or selling the cabbage, actually. That's a good point. One or the other would do. Uh, I guess I'll leave the carrots here. And I'm going to go and turn the beet into... Oh, no, we're not. Not yet, anyway. Oh, we've got the carrots there, actually. We could just make carrot cutlets. Drop those off. I, I, it doesn't actually matter where I put them in the house. As long as they're in the house, they'll get used. I didn't actually drop off the uh, the fat there. There we go. All right, time for sleep then. Let's get rid of this uh, this exhaustion debuff. All right, 
Now we've got nothing to give the Inquisitor, so we're not going to worry about that today. We are, however, going to go on a big hunt for stone. It's pretty much all we need at this at this stage. All right, let's get the beats going. There we are. We can use all of these up, and we've still got quite a lot of um, fuel there as well. Right, now we can move this back across. There we go. I'm not sure that I'm ever going to spend the time to clean those nails. I just don't see there being much point in it, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, right. Could make some more pastry, though. Oh, we could do this. If I get some frogs, then I can make some sandwiches. That is pretty much... Or I could even make some... Oh, well, I haven't got any onions, so I can't make burgers, no. Bit of a shame, that one. I could use the berries to make this, or I could make some extra green jelly. Do I have either? I think I do have red jelly somewhere, don't I? Did I store some red jelly down here? No, I didn't. Hmm. Well, I'm going to rearrange some things. Maybe I've got it outside. I do sometimes pop things outside. Yeah, I do. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, hmm. Actually, leaving these things there doesn't doesn't make uh, isn't too bad of an idea. That is going to drive me nuts. Oh, thank goodness. I was very much prepared to slowly go insane. All right, let's get all of this done then. Then we'll leave that in the in the trunk outside. That'll generate... Well, actually, we could use the red jelly as my uh, work food. Well, no, we want the hard work food. We want the pasta up top. Because that's where we're going to be doing an awful lot of hard work. So that makes a lot of sense. All right, drop this off in there. Right then, so how much stone do we need to get for a furnace? We need to get a goodly amount of that. We need an iron ore stockpile, we just need flitch for that, okay. We don't want an anvil, we just want to be able to break the stuff down. Stone stockpile, alright, that's not bad. And a stone cutter, not bad. Okay, so in total, we're going to need mostly flitch, nails... Uh, we're going to need 12 nails. We've got it. We're going to need 12 flitch. Easily got that. What else did we want? Uh, okay, we don't need nails or flitch for the, any of those, which is good. Uh, we're going to need an extra four. So 16 flitch, 12 nails. Okay, let's start going around and collecting these. I need eight here. Oops. 12 nails. We want 16 flitch. We're actually going to need more than that, aren't we? Because we're going to want a trunk. There we go. Nope, come on. There we are. We are going to want a ridiculous amount of stone that we don't yet have. But how much do we need for a trunk? An extra four nails. Four simple iron parts, okay. So an extra four nails. We'll just do that straight away. We'll get... Four iron parts, all we need. We only need one trunk, realistically speaking. Thank you. And I think it was an extra four flitch. We'll double check that. Now then. Uh, yep, okay. So we need another one. No, no, we need more than that. We need another seven stone in addition to all of this stone. Okay, well... I think we can make this happen. You know what? I'm going to bring my fishing rod with me as well. And I'm going to bring a stupid amount of maggots as well. Because we may as well fish up there. There we go. Good enough for me. All right. Let's hope we can find plenty of stone on the way. We'll probably gather a little bit of uh, honey maybe as well. Mm, actually, no. No, we won't. Oh, fantastic. Just need seven stone. It's two, so now we only need five. This will do. Only one, so we need four. Come on. Giant rocks like you, surely you can give me four. Really? One. Ah, misers. Three. Okay, we only need one now. You can't give me less than one. Wait, I shouldn't say that because you'll find a way. Okay, there we go. We'll grab the rest anyway because I feel like it. There we go. Right, we're off on an adventure. 
probably going to kick past some bats along the way. Hello. Nope. There we are. And your friend is dead. Okay. And you are backed into a corner. You're actually doing a decent amount of damage to me because I was being silly. Oh, well. Grab that. So I'm using up a little bit less energy. Was I using no energy just then? Did it reduce a, an action that required one energy down to zero? If so, I am impressed. No, it did not. Bit of a shame. Oh, every other one is... Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fairly certain. We just dropped the bee down there, didn't we? Was it a bee? Yes, and the bee's too precious for me not to take. You know what? I haven't got enough there to make anything useful out of them, so we'll grab the bee. We could totally gather the stone there. Totally not going to, though. There we are. No, I said not going to. Oh, really? Ah. Maybe I shouldn't have brought all these maggots. Maybe I shouldn't be carrying my rusty tools. How many times have I looked at my inventory screen and not noticed that? Well, that was dumb. All this time that I have no doubt been struggling with inventory. That's another thing you can shout at me for. Oh, though, legitimately, it took me a very long time to, to work that out. My goodness. I'm still going to take all these maggots, though. That's absolutely going to happen. Right, okay. Uh, to be on the way. Pick up those stones on the on our way past. We don't need to pick up any more, though. Uh, we're going to a place where we're going to get a ridiculous amount of stone. So, it's just not necessary. Right, off we go. So many trees. I'm not sure you'd ever run out of trees thanks to this forest. You might run into trees thanks to the forest, though. Some honey. Yes, I accept your offering. I will take this in the name of me. There we are. Thank you. It hurts a little bit, but it's fine. I'll be able to sleep soon. There we are. And I have no idea where I need to go now. Uh, up through here, I think it was towards the actual rock, so it makes sense for it to be up around here, maybe? There we go! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Trunk! What? Does everything cost more up here? No, it does not. I was just being a dirt, it appears. Well, that's just annoying. Quite annoying. Um... We can't fit too many up here, but uh, we definitely can fit them side by side there, so that's fine. Uh, iron ore stockpile. Gonna need a stone stockpile actually as well. Oh, damn. That's a bit silly of me. Uh, Alright, well, an iron ore stockpile can go there. I'm assuming. Might want to wait on that one. Stone stockpile. Okay, the stone stockpile is the smaller of the two. One, two. To, yeah, I can't rotate it either. So that's fine. We'll have the stone stockpile here. The iron st ore stockpile can go up top. And that's really all we wanted. The stone cutter. Ah. Therein is the kicker. I guess we could have the stone cutter there and an iron ore stockpile over there. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's get that doing. I'm really quite frustrated that we didn't bring a trunk, though. Oh, dirt. Alright, let's get the stone cutter down. That can live there. The iron ore stockpile can live over here. It's a massive waste of space, I know. It does vex me greatly. Yeah, there's, there's just no, there's no position that I could have that in where an extra five wouldn't mean that I can't have a furnace on that side, so there's no point in worrying about it. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything we wanted. All right, let's get you built. There we are. We'll just have to bring up the, the trunk later. There's not a lot we can do about it, unless I can maybe get some parts from over there. It's possible. It's remotely possible that it's a thing that we could do. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to carry all of the material on me in order to fuel the furnace, etc. Let's see, can I break any of this down? Is there anything over here I can break? No. Oh well. I guess that's where it's going to be. Uh, sure, let's go and grab some coal. We'll set up the, the actual fire, but 
I'm a little bit frustrated with that. I can actually get water up here. Oh, of course, yes, yes. We'll need water for a couple of the things that we might want to do. We can also smell glass up here as well. There we are. 29 coal. You get an awful lot of coal, to be fair, from the coal seams. There we go. Pickaxe is broken. Alas! Alas, maybe I should have brought the other pickaxe with me. Ugh. I might build a whetstone. I don't think I can. Maybe if I built an anvil, I could just remake tools as needed. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Alright, let's get a bunch of fuel in there. Not that we're going to be able to do anything with said fuel, but oh well. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and have a kip. Restore some of our energy. Mostly our health, really. Come on. Hurry up. Okay, you can have a full sleep then. Maybe you will actually still be hurt when you wake up. I'm so refreshed. Are you really? Are you certain about this? Pick that up as well. Am I going to be able to train these back? It's a bloody long way to go. So I'm really not certain about that. But I'll try anyway. Oh, of course, if I actually had the teleport stone, I would be able to teleport while carrying a log. Which might be... Oh, I should have gone down. Okay. I'll remember that for next time. And try and move across. When I brought all of that uh, equipment up here. Oh, damn it. All of that equipment up here to fish. Now I'm having to go back straight away. It's a little bit embarrassing, really. Oh, well. It's not the worst thing that's happened. Put you over there. And then up through here. And then we can go straight down, I think. As we're past this little area. Past the beehive. We do need the uh, the logs anyway, so... There we go. Ah, hello, bats. Nope. Nope. Haha. -ha. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not happening today. Sorry. Sorry, no. Nope. Don't mind me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ha, 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 ha. Nope. That was my uh, partial Woody the Woodpecker impression there. Right. Here we go. Uh, let's get over here. Pop these in. Grab the one part that I need. That's the part that hurts the most. If I'd been shy like four parts, I wouldn't have been nearly as annoying. But being shy by just one part, that's so bad. I probably got it as well. No, I don't. Okay, well, that's fine then. Okay, that's a little bit easier on me. Sure, we'll, we'll grab a whole load more parts. In fact... I'm tempted, somewhat, to build an anvil over there. And for that I just need... Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll take that. I can leave the stone here because I can just gra gather enough stone up there. In fact, everything I need but flitch will be available to me up there. Hmm. For me to make a, a second uh, furnace, all I need to do is get the skin. Because I can't make flitch while I'm up there. Hmm. Is that all I'd need? Yeah, it's just the skin. And some advanced metal parts. I mean, I've got them, so... Sure, all right, I'll take them with me. There we go, and I guess I might as well bring a whole load of other things as, as well while I'm up there. Uh, where am I storing the bees? Let's go and have a look. Oh, my lord. Am I storing the bees in here? No, no, I'm not storing the bees in there. Of course I'm not. And I still don't have anything to do with beeswax yet, so I might, might as well not store that in there. Am I sawing the bees over here? Yeah, I'm sawing the bees down here. And this is also where the beeswax lives now. Uh, okay, no, I'm good with the rest of that. Drop off the whetstone. Don't need to be bringing that with me. And let's grab... Actually, I don't think there was any flitch I needed. It was there. No, I, I didn't need anything from here except the, the skin. Let me just double check that, though. No, it's just the skin. Skin and stones. But oh, we can easily get more stones on the way. Okay, we're, we're going to properly set this place up. This is going to be a well, well-appointed little mining base with two advanced furnaces and anvils so that I can make my own tools. Oh, it's going to be grand. I best uh, prepare, though. Have you? Have I got everything I need? No, I still don't have everything I need. 
Why? Why is my brain so committed to making... Ugh. It really is committed. That's the problem. My ba brain is full on like, no, 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 no. We, we, we are going to do this thing. Ah, wait, wait. I just remembered. Yeah, it's probably my feet making the decisions. Bloody feet. Uh, whenever something seems really too stupid for it to actually have come from my brain, you can bet that my feet are responsible. Damn them. Let's uh, drop this off. Uh, was there any yeah, we need to pick up that one extra... Eye you know what? Given given the trouble, I think it's going to take them all. Yeah. Yeah, I I'd like to see you... Uh, you know, I'm also going to take all of those. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking everything. You're not going to beat me this time, game. No, you're not even going to rob me of my sermon. Haha. <laughs> oh, actually, I should grab all the bread and sell it all to the uh, to the bishop. Make the bishop like me a little bit more. Thank you. Because uh, we've got a fair number of bread, actually. Oh, damn it. I guess I'm going to have to leave that behind. Ugh. A pain in the bum, that. Eh? We'll be back for you, fish. Don't you worry. I could have gone underneath. I probably should have. Uh, no. No, no, no. Uh, let's go and get this sermon started. Sell a redonkulous amount of bread to the bishop first. Hello, bishop. I would like to trade with you. You're at 35 right now. And is that going to increase your, your favor with me? No, it doesn't. So I may as well sell it to Haradrit then. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments that it does increase the, the bishop's favor, but apparently that is not the case. Okay. Well, let's get this prey on the go. Make ourselves a bit of cash. I'd like to say some words. Our church great. And I will follow those words with... And now, let us pray for this blessing. There we go. Pop. Thank you. Your donations are, of course, quite welcome. And, in fact, still obligatory. Thank you. It's a goodly little bit of money there. We do need to radically improve the quality of this church though so we can get more people in here we've now actually got the means to do it as well so there we are we are starting to recover in terms of money ha <laughs> ah there's one thing if there's one thing i'm gonna do this time that i didn't do last time that i failed to do every other time one thing it is not walk away from the one thing that i'm gonna do <laughs> so close so close to being an absolute idiot how I've survived this long, I don't know. Right, okay. Okay. Um, ooh, I get faith from coal? You what? I get what? I approve. Compact sign parts. Is it just that I get extra faith from everything I study? Because that seems a bit strange. Um, that takes two. It takes two as well. I've only got two left. I think most of these now require three. Um, I guess coal, because when are the next... Well, no. Let's go with iron. Oh, no, that only takes one. No, stone it is then. Because when's the next time I'm going to bring it down here? There we go. A piece of stone has been studied and has given me a lot of good things. There we are. Thank you, everyone. I've right, got everything we need, including my fishing rod. All I need now is the bait. And we're going to finally, finally, end an episode having made some serious progress and actually something worth doing. Uh, I put them all in the trunk with the bread, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's go and grab those. Thank you. Off we go. And the unfortunate thing is we can't cook fish. I don't think we can cook fish on the fire. Uh, a, a dire problem, that. Eh? Um, a shovel could do with a little bit of work, but mm, that's fine. It is fine. But once we're up, then we can just make new tools. That is pretty much going to be what we do in order to get through this. Um, sure. Oh, you stack the buffs. Oh, that's nice. Many games don't allow that. Many games are like, nah, you don't You don't get two. You replace the buff. That is, that is the way an honest, God-fearing individual would do it. And so that is the way that you're going to be forced to do it. But no. 
No, apparently that is not the way you're going to... We are a scientist. And science says that if I ate two foods with different effects, then I should be under the effect of both of them. Yeah. Unless they're, they, you know, exclusive effects. Like, one makes you run faster, and the other makes you run slower. Then they should just cancel each other out. Which, you know, is exactly what would happen if you just applied both effects. Hello. Goodbye. Ah, Max. Truly a wondrous thing. It explains so many of, of, uh, of the interactions of the universe. Right, let me just quickly get up. I'm gonna grab your honey too, because I can. And I like honey. Yoink. Thank you. Also, apparently I like getting stung. Or maybe I just like honey more uh, than, than getting stung. I'm just willing to accept that loss. Right, first call of action. A trunk, second call of action. A new furnace, a third call of action. An anvil. And then we will be done. So, trunk. I hate my life. I hate it. I, I, I just, I, I, I just, I, I hope this is, this is pleased you in some way. I hope that on some small level, you, you receive joy from witnessing my pain. If that is the case, then it isn't a complete loss. So the, pro the problem is that I remember thinking, oh, yeah, I don't need to take the nails, I can make them. And then, I promptly forgot that uh, I need flitch to make a trunk. And I can't make that. <sighs> Life sucks. How messed up is my pickaxe now? Uh, it's not that messed up. Well, if nothing else, we're going to at least get one good thing going. Oh, I need two. I just realized I am actually going to need two of these. Hmm. Could I get the two stone stockpiles? Oh, I need flipped for that as well. The reason why I need two is that iron takes up a spot all of its own. And I think that it's mutually exclusive. If you put iron in the stone stockpile, it takes up that spot. And then you can't put stone in that stone stockpile from that point on. We'll have to see. Maybe I can manage two of them, but I would prefer and feel a lot safer if I just had one type of stone per stockpile. All right, this is good enough. Let's just push these over there. And one there, one here. Let's go ahead and break these down to 10 ingots each. But it looks like we're gonna have to bring up uh, more flitch anyway. Let's add 17 there and then 13 there. I would very much like it if you would smelt. Um, okay, I guess we're doing it that way. I can make steel now if I get graphite. Uh, but I, yeah, I can make graphite, I suppose. I'd need to learn how to make it first. Sure. There we are. And then... There we go. Finally, we have a semi-functional... Mining camp. We also, as it happens, have a leaky cabin. I just noticed there's holes in the roof. That's uh, not going to be the greatest place to sleep, but that's where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. Derps and all. I really do hope you got, at least got a chuckle out of that, because uh, the misery my soul felt when I re realized I'd left the flitch behind willingly, because I was so focused on the things that I wasn't, that I was remembering to bring all of the metal parts. That, that's what makes it worse. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.